everyone. My name is Paula Steenrod with Advantage Health Corporation. Today's class is going to be tone and balance. I have two different weights here. One's a five pound weight and one is an eight pound weight. Something pretty light. We're basically going to be working on bilateral stabilization. So anytime I grab a weight in one side of my body, you'll notice you have to stabilize on both lateral sides of your body. Additionally, working on some balance and toning, so strength training there as well. All right, let's get started with a nice easy warm up. Feet are gonna be right underneath your hips. Bring those knees in forwards, out and lock. In forwards, out and lock. Super important to have warm up knees for when you are gonna be doing some balancing work. There's two and one. Switch direction, out, forwards, in and lock. Out, forwards, in and lock. Mostly just because your knees are connected to your feet and you have to balance on your feet. There's two and one. Great. Step those feet out just a little bit wider. Shift your hips over to your right, forwards, left, and behind. So you're trying to swivel at your pelvis, keeping your head relatively still here. So let's do two more. There's two. Nice. And one. Same, same, other direction. So now we're going to come around the other direction. Again, next thing up that's attached to your knees are your hips. So it's good to have those warmed up as well. All right, cat cow, a little bit of cat cow here. Nice big inhale, push that sternum out. Exhale, bring that spine all the way back. Nice big inhale, sternum comes out. Exhale, spine comes back. Good. Inhale, sternum comes out. Exhale, spine comes back. Beautiful. Inhale. Two. Nice. Bring it back. Beautiful. And one. All right. Good. Nice wide legs for me. So big, big wide. We're going to do a couple of laterals. So coming down. Not everybody's ankles, knees, and hips enjoy that full flexion here to get into that groin. So you might need to be up here for a nice, easier, more a taller lateral position here. But if you can, come all the way down. I want you to feel it in that inner thigh, growing area, making sure we're warming those up. Good. Let's do three. Beautiful. There's two. Ah, just moving. Excellent. And one. All right. We're going to do some glute activation today. And we're going to do that standing. Okay, we are going to start with, I call them the notes of Californians or like the hip check. Once you start with hand on your left hip, left foot kind of comes out. You don't have all of your weight on your left foot here. Your right hip comes all the way out. And you can even do these balancing. And then you're going to squeeze, so squeeze that right glute to bring it right up, that hip right up underneath you. Great. Let's do nine more. There's nine. Good. Eight. Beautiful. These are going to be activating those small glute medius, glute minimus muscles, which are really, really important in stabilizing the hip, knee, and ankle joints. And even that low back, there's three. Nice job. And two. Last one, last one. Good. Same, same other side. So adjust. Remember, very little weight on that right leg. That hip is coming all the way out. And then you're going to squeeze through those left glutes to bring it up. There's ten. All right. And if you want, you can have this right leg floating. Okay, okay. And so once we get those little butt muscles activated, turned on, they know what they're supposed to be doing, they are gonna be really good at helping us out with all of our balancing today. There's three, nice job. There's two and one, beautiful. We're gonna move on to a few sumo side bends. I want you to bring those legs out way far out, way far out. Toes are going to be wide. Depending on how warmed up your hips are feeling, you might be able to come really far down. Otherwise, keep it a little bit higher. More importantly, is going to be to make sure you're not arching through that lower back. Keep that tail really tucked here. We want to try to reach elbow to knee or thigh, and then come back all the way to the other side. We're going to do that 10 times. All right. Let's start going to the right, okay? So tap that right thigh, bring it up, tap that left thigh. I want you to focus, notice I'm not doing this super fast, and if you're up a little bit higher, you're probably not gonna be able to touch that thigh, and that's totally okay. But it, 
want you to focus on stretch and now use those obliques. Stretch and now use those obliques. So we're trying to warm up those bilateral or your oblique muscles here. Okay, all right, let's do two more, two more. All right, there's two, beautiful. And then we're gonna get a little bit more technical and a little harder. Okay, a little bit harder. Now, we're gonna take right leg forwards, left leg back. Right leg forwards, left leg back. You're gonna come here, so hands behind those ears. You're gonna reach past the knee. So the trick is to keep that spine super long and to twist past the knee. So it's not tucking. So notice how now my spine tilts in. If I try to tuck and tap my knee, I want my spine to be very long. We're gonna curl in 10 times. Here we go. Reach and curl for 10. Now, depending on how your balance is, right, you might look more like this. I'm gonna turn and reach. That's all the further I can get, and I'm gonna come back and come down. I'm gonna try to come down and then turn and come back up. Either are totally fine in the option where you add that turn in while you're going or where you need to turn, then bend, or bend, and then turn. Let's do three. Nice. Stabilize through that leg and that glute. Two. You're almost there. Last one. Twist. And one. Good job. Same, same other side. We got same, same other side coming up. Nice and tall. Get stabilized in that lunge. Your lunge might be a lot more narrow than mine. Let's get it started. Here we go. So your lunge might be more narrow. 10. You might not be able to come down as far. These are all totally great options. What we're trying to do is tone and balance. You're still probably feeling that leg working. You're still trying to use those abs to twist, right? You're still offsetting your balance with that split stance. Through the split stance, right? All right, four more here. There's four, and lift, good. Three, beautiful, you all are doing an amazing job. There's two, last one, last one, and bring it back up, beautiful. We're gonna start with abs and core. That's gonna be our first set. It's gonna be 30 seconds on each exercise. I'm gonna go through the exercises with you quick. We're gonna start here. You can choose your five or your eight pound weight. I think I'll do my five for this particular one. We're gonna start in that tabletop position. Make sure you're stepping up to those little duck, lower abdominals or pushing up through that lower back. You're gonna take this weight and you're gonna reach it out to the side. So you're reaching out to the side. Second exercise, get a little ab action in there. You're gonna flip it over. Your legs are gonna come out wider than your mat, your arms are gonna come out wider than your mat, right hand, because I just did my right reverse fly, is gonna reach for my left foot, and I'm gonna come back down, okay? Third exercise, side line lat pull. So still on my right arm, I'm gonna be here, I tuck my leg so I get some good stability, lift my rib cage up, you can see that space, arm comes up with that weight, Hinging at your shoulder, keeping that elbow straight, lift. Hinge at the shoulder, elbow straight, lift. Good. All right, fourth exercise. Side plank hip dips. So we're just gonna come pop up on that side, whoo, and tap and lift. Those of you that are feeling like super strong can obviously be up on both feet. Are we ready to get started? Fantastic, me too. Let's bring it up onto all fours. Grab a hold of a weight that you want to use. I think I'll use my eight pound weight this time. There's three, two, one. Take it out to the side and back down. Out to the side and back down. Great. Make sure you're tucking through that tail. I'm not sure what I was thinking with the eight pound weight. That's a little much for a reverse body for me. That's okay. <laughs> Live and learn, right? Lengthen through the head. All right, we've got 10 more seconds here. It's pull. Easy down for me. Pull. Easy down. There's four. Three, two, and one. Weight comes down. Flip it over on your back. Big X. Right arm, left leg. Bring it up. Right arm, left leg. Bring it up. Good. Right arm, left leg. Reach. So clearly, we're not doing left arm, right leg. 
So that means we have two rounds of this bad boy set, and I think you're gonna do awesome. Good, remember, we pop up on our side, we have that overhead lat pull in two, and one. Bring it on to the sideline body, you're gonna pop up into that hip, make that space, grab hold of that weight, push it up, and over the head and lift, good. Over the head and lift, beautiful. Everything is for 30 seconds, remember 30 seconds. We're gonna come into that side lying plank, so we just pop up on our bottom left arm here. That's gonna happen in five, four, three, two, and pull one more time. Good job, bring it up. You can do knee or forearm, you can do both feet, you can do up onto the hand, whatever works best for your body, but hopefully you're already side planking. If you wanna add a little more fun, you can tap hip and bring it up, tap your hip and bring it up. Excellent, nice. If you're just holding, oftentimes people like to lift that top hand, making sure you're squaring off those shoulders. There's still three. Two, one, bring it back onto all fours, left arm, left arm, here we go, lift and bring it down, lift and bring it down, good, trying to track in line with that shoulder, beautiful, you've got it, 10 more seconds here, oh my gosh, do you remember what's next, I do, we're going to do those X sit-ups, X sit-ups, so flip over on your back in three, two, and one. Nice job. Flip. Big X. This time left arm to right leg. Left arm to right leg. Nice job. Keep it going. We have that side lying position with that overhead lat pull coming up next. Overhead lat pull coming up next. Good. Breathe here. Always a big exhale as you lift. Nice job. There's three, two, and one, side lying position. Remember, we're trying to tuck those knees, lift up on that rib cage, see the space, bring it up, hinging at the shoulder, hinge at your shoulder. Nice job. Last exercise is gonna be that side lying plank. Then we're all done with this set. Get a little bit of water. We do lower body and glutes. You know, my favorite. There's five, four, three, two, and one, weight comes down, elbow comes down, pop up that hip, nice, nice and long. Again, remember you can make this a little harder by coming up on the feet. Sometimes people think, sit, think it's harder, sometimes they think it's easier if they're up on the hand, just depends on you. You can make it harder by doing hip tap, hip tap, good. All right, we're almost there, there's five, four, three, two, and one, good job. All right, grab a little bit of water. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you some fun, crazy things that we're gonna work on. As we reset our stop, watch. You can choose to have a weight for this. You do not need to have a weight for this. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge, elbow to knee. So if you choose to have a weight, and I'm gonna start with my right leg moving here. I'm gonna go curtsy lunge. I'm gonna come up and around, elbow to knee, and then right back into that curtsy lunge. Now a couple of things. This is a balancing act, ha ha ha, pun intended. So you might need to do curtsy lunge, tap, try to get elbow to knee. You might get here and be like, yes, I didn't fall on my face, tap, and then back to the curtsy lunge. Totally acceptable, yeah? Okay, all right, lateral leg lift. So, we're just gonna come, we're gonna keep up with that same right leg, we're just lifting it out to the side. I do want you to have a weight, probably in the opposing hand, just again, bilateral stabilization there. Um, hold and pulse, big thing here, watch. A lot of times we hold and pulse and we feel it in our lower back, because it requires us to tuck that tail Use those abs to lift and keep that nice, long spine. Fourth exercise, a little bit of cardio blast here for you. I'm actually gonna move my mat for this so I don't injure myself. But it's gonna be shuffle, 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 tap. So 
So now I'm loading on this side. Shuffle, 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 tap. Okay? And obviously the tap doesn't have to get the ground. All right, party people, let's get her started in two and one. Right leg comes back. Curtsy lunge. Elbow to knee. Good. Curtsy lunge. Elbow to knee. Nice. Elbow to knee. Good. Now remember, it can be tap. Curtsy lunge. Tap. Maybe you make it, maybe you don't. As long as you don't fall on your face, we're all good. Yeah? All right, there's five. Four, three, two, leg lift. Tuck that toe, leg comes out. Lift, lift, lift. Now, you can hold the weight here. That's not doing you a lot of good with that tone and balance. You're, not, you're still kind of balancing, but I want you to bring that weight down to your side body. Yes, there you go. Good. Remember, you're trying to stay tucked, so lots of core control here in those lower abdominals. As you lift. There's two and one. Pull it up there, pulse. Sometimes if you flex the foot, drive through the heel, pulse, pulse. Are you starting to feel those glutes? I surely am. I'm going to scoot over here, get ready for my shuffles. we got shuffles up next. All right, 15 more seconds. Hold it there. Remember, are you engaging through those lower abdominals to keep it out of the lower back? Yes, yes, yes. Here we go, here we go. There's five. Four, three, two, one. Put that weight out of your way. Shuffle, 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 tap. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And if you have more room than I do, by all means, make these some really decent shuffles here. I want that heart rate to get up just a little bit. And if you can't touch the floor, that's fine. This is the important part. Load that outside leg. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Load into that outside leg. Yes, five. Four, three, two, and one. We go back to those curtsy lunges. Where's that left leg, people? Bring it back. Yep, up and over, elbow to knee. Bring it back, up and over, elbow to knee. Awesome, you're doing great. Hang it in there, hang it in there. Nice job. Good, okay, we have about 10 more seconds left. We have that leg lift out to the side. Leg lift out to the side. It's coming up next in two and one. Stabilize, tuck that tail, lift, lift. Now I'm holding my weight in my other hand. Remember, if you start to feel it in your lower back, notice the shift I made there. You're probably trying to compensate. Real image look, and then I got food, baby. Right, so whoop, tuck that tail underneath. Use those lower abdominals here. Lift, 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 good. All right, pulsing in two and one. Hold that foot up, pulse, 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 pulse. Could you imagine, I was watching this the other week, if you put it here and pulse it here. Woo, baby! But let's just work on balancing and making balancing harder. That's really what I want. I'm gonna scoot myself this way, get myself ready for my shuffles, and then we're all done. We get a little bit of water and we start all over with some core work. All right. You're almost there. There's five. Hang in there, four. Try to get a little bit higher. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Here we go. Shuffle, 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 tap. Shuffle, 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 tap. Shuffle, 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 tap. Shuffle, 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 tap. Yes. All right, all right. Halfway. Try to get that heart rate up. Now I have to stay within the camera, so my shuffles are a little short. But if you can really get some shuffles going here, do it. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Get some water. You are awesome. Okay. Get my mat back. There we go. Super. Same thing. 30 seconds on. This time we're doing, ooh, made it nice and challenging for y'all. Three sets. Let's just do two sets. That seems excessive. Okay, plank shoulder taps. You can do these on your knees. The wider your legs are, the easier these are. And then ideally, you have those hands pretty, um, well, shoulder taps can be wide. But I like to have mine a little more narrow because now I'm making a triangle because my knees and my feet are way out here. That triangle is going to be a lot more stable. 
Okay? Superheroes, on the bellies, lift, and I want you to just pull one arm, and then lift, and then pull the other arm, okay? So alternating pulling those arms. Donkey kicks, so I want you here. Tuck that tail up, so I want nice strong here. You're gonna bring those legs in, or legs up, and just like so. So you're hinging at the hip, feeling at the glute, okay? And then lateral leg lift, we're gonna come shift here, like so, and then we're moving right back into that lateral leg lift, okay? All right, let's see what we're made of. There's five, four, three, tap, shoulder taps, tap, 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 tap. Yes, do it, do it, go. Nice job, keep a nice long spine. Ideally, and if you're trying to come way high under the toes, I don't wanna see this, right? This is not okay. I'm over exaggerating, but try to keep that pelvis as quiet as possible. There's five, four, three, two, bring it down with the bellies, superheroes. Lift, pull just one arm down. Lift, pull just one arm down. Lift, pull just one arm. Remember, you're alternating, alternating those arms. Nice. Good work, good work. Almost there. Remember, coming up for donkey kicks. Four, three, two, donkey kicks. Flip it up. Nice tabletop. I'm gonna go right leg, right leg up. Now watch, if you start to do this, look at, look at, I got baby down here, I got big sway back. Lift up through that lower back. Keep those abs tight. So if by the end of this, you're like, oh, I feel this in my abs as much as I feel it in my butt. Fantastic. That means you're doing it correctly because we just want to be hinging at this hip, not in the lower spine. So hinge at the hip. There's two and one. Plant that left hand down, flip up, Still on that right leg, lift and tap. Lift and tap, good. Power up, easy down. Power up, easy down, good. Nice job. We're gonna go right back, woo, get your nose. Right back, up to the top, okay? Plank shoulder taps, you got it, you got it. You got this, piece of cake. All right, there's five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it back down, my legs are wide, my hands are narrow, tap. My pelvis is extra quiet, extra quiet pelvis. And I just look and I'm like, ooh, I'm not using my, my ab muscles here at all. So whoop, tuck into those abs. Make sure it feels like you're almost kind of sucking in a little bit, okay? 10 more seconds here. We go back to the alternating superhero pulls here. There's three, two, and one. Bring it down, lift. Just one arm, that's that bilateral stabilization. That's that tone and balance. You're trying to balance out those sides. Yeah, I know it's a little bit different. Nice job. Almost there, almost there. Beautiful, good work. There's four, three, two, and one, left legs turn, left legs turn. Support up, whoop, there we go. Left leg comes up and down, up and down. Good, I'm gonna wiggle, wiggle around here. So I end up facing you when we flip open for those lateral leg lifts. Yes, now, if you want a little more fun, because who doesn't want more fun, you can always stick a weight in the crook of the knee. Now, the trick here is to make sure you're only feeling in your glute hamstrings first. There's two, and one. Lift open, nice, lift, and tap. Lift, and tap. Beautiful, good job, good job. Good, we're almost there, party people. You've got this. Open up that shoulder, don't let yourself crawl down. Open up nice and strong into that kneeling side plank here. You're almost there. Give me five more seconds here. There's five, four, three, Two, and one. Get a little bit of water. We got one more set left. All right. 30 seconds. 
can see each. This is like maybe my new favorite kind of set. Um, and we are going to just do it with one weight. So that's going to be um, tricky because it's going to make it a really long set. And that's okay. Um, it's our last set, right? We are going to do a right leg, right arm. Right leg, right arm. We're going to come back into that right, woo, right lunge with a right bicep curl, step it back up, okay? So we're here. Then we switch to a right lunge, um, right shoulder press, okay? 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Then we pull 30 seconds, just stand straight here, okay? Then we switch sides. Then we gotta come back and come to a wide hammer curl and a wide shoulder press. All right, are you ready for it? I think you are, and you can do it. Okay, let's get it started. I'll restart our stopwatch here. Three, two, and one. Hammer curl, step back, good. Hammer curl, step back. So now, not only are we working that bilateral stabilization, we are also toning those arms and those legs. Plus, we're adding in some dynamic, I'm not even bicep curling, do you see that? Um, <laughs> we're adding some dynamic movement here. So we're really upping the ante. Nice job. It's gonna be about a six minute set, so hang in for the ride party, people. We got overhead press in two and one. So press and down, good. Press and down. I'll show you a side view, good. Nice, now, holy cow, Paula, I'm getting tired. Perfect, just a little tap back and press, a little tap back and press, because again, I'm still doing that dynamic movement. I still have to stabilize front to back and side to side, because I'm coming overhead. All right, hold that lunge, hold that lunge, two, one, shoulder, or curl, press, bring it down, nice. Curl, press, bring it down. Hang in there with me. If you're getting tired and you're like, oh, Paula, oh, how much longer am I going on my right arm? Bring it out a little bit from that lunge. Maybe take it off a little bit. You can do this. I have faith. You've got it. We have five more seconds. We switch to the other side. Five more seconds. There's two and one. Left arm, left alley. Left arm, left leg. Bring it, hammer curl and step it back. Hammer curl and step it back. Nice job. We'll see how I do this time around if I curl the whole time, right? Okay, so we have another round and it's gonna be a wide hammer curl and a wide shoulder press. So I will show you those when we hit that stationary lunge so you're not trying to figure out like, what the fuck are we doing? There's two and one, push it up, shoulder press. Now remember, you can always come here, a little easy step back, right? little easy step back because I want I want a little something coming forwards and back so again you're getting that forward back stabilization here and then you're getting that bilateral stabilization with that shoulder press nice job we're going into stationary here in five four three two bring it down bicep curl to shoulder press bicep curl to shoulder press nice job Keep that tail tucked. I think it's really easy for people to think, I need my legs straight here, and then all of a sudden, they're really dumping into their pelvis and like trying to arch it back. So if you need to bend that knee to get a nice straight line here, totally fine. Ooh, ooh, and I need to show you hammers. Okay, here we go. Next one is gonna be hammer curl. I bring my palm towards you and bring it up to the side. There's two and one. Switch it up. Are you ready? Hammer curl to the side. Nice. As I lean. I'm not sure why I'm leaning. Because bilateral stabilization, voila. Right? Tone and balance. Working that balance. So now my palm is facing you. My palm is still facing you. I'm hinging at that elbow. Nice. Five more seconds here. We go shoulder press wide in two and one. So it's shoulder press, keep it wide. Shoulder press, keep it wide. Okay, so I'm like wondering, why are they so hard today? I've been doing these all week. I grabbed the eight pound weight instead of five pound weight. That's okay. Push me out of my limits, comfort zone a little bit, right? Okay, now remember, same thing. You need to sh 
shorten that step back. Shorten that step back. Holding in three, two, one. Here we go. Hammer curl, shoulder press. Nice. Hammer curl, shoulder press. Again, you do not need to be a purist with that straight back leg. You can definitely bend through that knee to keep, what's important is this part here. This is where all the communication flows in and out of is your spinal column. Keep it long and strong, yeah? All right, there's five, four, three, two, one. Same, same, other side. Here we go, left, 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 left. Hammer, bring it down, nice. Good job. We only got a minute and a half left. Then we'll stretch it out, it's gonna be great. You're doing awesome. I tried to save the best for last, so. Hopefully it feels like that. Woo! 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 Yes! Okay, five more seconds here. We go to that shoulder press in five, four, three, two, one. Shoulder press. Oh! Nice job. Again, that easy step back. Nice, easy step back. Paula, my shoulder's about to fall off. Funny thing, that weight's not actually attached to you. So, you can put it down, right, and keep doing the movement. That muscle mass is already fatigued. You'll still feel it. Don't worry. There's five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Bring it down and up. Hold it in that lunge. Nice job. What if your legs are on fire and you can't? I would prefer a split stance, okay? Both legs straight versus like trying to half it I want, or try to get them really long, maybe you try to get them really long and split stance it. Because that is gonna challenge that motion of that arm with that weight. You're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Let's get a little bit of water. It'll take a couple of minutes to stretch it out. Bring the mat back in. Nice and easy, one leg forwards, one leg back, back. I do want that knee bent down. Nice job. Nice big inhale here. Lengthen through that spine, squeeze through the rear glutes here. Don't squeeze your butt, but squeeze your butt muscles. Use them so you're opening up that hip flexor. Now I want you to take this front foot, move it all the way to the outside of your mat. Take this other hand, the opposing hand, also move it to the opposite side of that mat. Take same hand, same knee, and push away and turn. I do want a little bit of a turn here. Watch this foot, it's gonna to wanna to peel off of the mat. Try to keep it flat. So we're trying to get a, a whole different type of stretching through the foot, ankle, knee, and hip here. Very nice, nice big inhale here. Easy exhale, push it back. Child's pose, palms up to the ceilings for me. Oftentimes, just being human, right? All human beings are externally rotate, or in, sorry, internally rotate a lot with their hands. With almost everything we do, cooking, cleaning, working, texting, you know, name it. But palms up to the ceiling for child's pose helps us to externally rotate those hands a little bit and shoulders, opening them up into a different direction. All right, nice big inhale here. Bringing it all the way up. Same, same other side. So that foot comes all the way to the outside edge of that mat. Knee comes down, squeeze through those back glutes. Nice and long. Let's open up that hip flexor first. Nice job. Plant that left hand to the outside of the mat. Nice big inhale here. Push away. Again, you are trying to keep this foot planted firmly on the mat because that articulation in the foot and the ankle travels up to the knee and the hip. This kind of helps give us, it might not feel super stretchy to you, but it is helping those joints feel a different type of stretch and movement and stabilization. Good. Nice big inhale here. Easy exhale. Coming around. You can go cross-legged on your knees, whatever you want. Nice big inhale. Arms come up. Reach it high to the sky. Good. Grab a hold of your left elbow and tilt it over to the right for me. So I'm pulling to my right. Nice. And this also can be done cross-legged. 
Good. And now I want you to square your shoulders off. Square them off. Hopefully you feel a really good stretch all the way along that spinal column, which is exactly where we want to feel this stretch. It's down that whole left side of that spinal column. All of that bilateral, you know, I keep using it. It's a fun word. Um, stabilization, that, that spinal column muscles have to work really hard there. So, nice big inhale up, grab a hold of that right shoulder and tilt it over to your left. So it's good to get those muscles, have a specific stretch just for them. Beautiful. Nice big inhale, square those shoulders off. So you're gonna roll that right shoulder down, trying to feel it along the right side of your spine. Nice, holding here, big inhale, easy exhale, 